Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Grab that good man when you have a chance. Now, I know this is something I've covered before, ladies, but I'm going to tell you what. As I've said before, a third of my consultation clients are, are women. And I know I know what to tell the men because I got women. I'm talking to women all the time. I know a lot of y'all. I know a lot of y'all. Some of y'all can text me and stuff who's listening. And, ladies, I keep hearing the same thing. I keep hearing the same thing, right? You having trouble finding a good man. You having trouble. Or you had a good man, but, you know, that pretty dude, that sexy fine dude came in the picture, you know, got you all hot and bothered. Shoot, I might even had sex. Shoot, he might even had you hollering, calling a great pumpkin and stuff. But then you find out, yeah, he fine, but he's still a dog, though. He got a shiny coat, but he's still a dog. He got a smooth, baritone voice, but he's still a dog. All of a sudden, that good man that you realize, hey, you know what? He wasn't that bad. And you start getting those feelings back for him. Shoot, he done moved on because some other woman was smart and grabbed him. Ladies, I'm going to tell you something now. And this is a reality. Like, I've, I, now, let's be, I'm going to be fair. And it might seem like a double standard, but it is what it is. You know, that's just one of the things in life. Hey, men can't have babies. So it's like everything ain't equal. But, you know, I've told men, you know, there's an abundance of good women out here. Ladies, I know by y'all very nature, there's a bunch of like, you know, good citizens. But we talking about a man who's truly good for you. Somebody that you have some attraction for. You find them sexually appealing. You can stand looking at them in the morning. Um, who has your best intentions at heart. He has good intentions for you. You know, that's hard to find. Let's just be real, ladies. Seriously. It's hard to find just that right man who's going to be right for you. It's, it's unfair. It's, it's unfair. And I could, I, hey, somebody could pay me several million dollars, which I don't take because I don't take money like that to talk about something I don't want to talk about. But hypothetically, they could pay me several million dollars to tell the guys to act right. Okay. You still might not want that particular guy. You know? But see, you had met that good man. And it, I'm serious, it's never fail. Almost every time I talk to a particular woman, there's always that one guy that got away. And not necessarily, not, not necessarily that fine dude who got away, but the guy who was just right for. Ladies, when you meet that good man, you need to hold on. And in fact, ladies, here's the thing. Say this is a common situation I've heard from a couple uh, ladies lately. I don't know if they listen to this channel. That's how deep it is. I got some, I'll be talking with some young ladies and older ladies and they have no idea I do this for a living. But they'll talk about, they they kind of torn between two, two guys. Now, one is usually the sexy fine dude. All right. Or whatever you consider sexy. The other one is the guy with good intentions, but he, he ain't no duck though. And a woman's like trying to think, it's like, okay, which one do you want? Are you thinking long term or short term? Because even if you think short term and say, okay, because I know one thing y'all will do, y'all will grab that sexy fine dude, have your little fun and think the other guy waiting around. Um, no, because ladies are a seriously good man. And this ain't talked about as much, including by myself, and I need to talk about it more. There's plenty of men out there who are attractive to, to women to the point they could be players, but they just not. They legitimately good. They just want one woman. You know, they the type, hey, they want, they'll sit back and chill with the woman. They ain't trying to be a player or anything. And, you know, they just good men. Ladies, when you get that guy, you got to think long term. You got to think, okay, who's going to be an issue? Because, ladies, let's be real. You know that player, that player type or the type who could hurt you, he's always shy, he's waving some red flags. Indeed, he might, even, he might even tell you he got another woman or three or four or five, some six or seven. He might even tell you. He'll tell you straight up. He'll tell you straight up he don't want a relationship. He don't want nothing serious. But you know how some of y'all get caught up in that challenge. 
and you think you can change his mind. Meanwhile, that good man, he tell you straight up, no, nah, I want you, baby. I want you. I'm trying to build with you. I got feelings for you. And you got some feelings for him. But then you in between them. You got you better grab you better think long term. Cause ladies, and I know this because a lot of ladies I talk to, they older. They're in their forties and fifties. You don't want to be in that position where, you know, you had a guy and you blew it. You know, that you know, it might sound like a good story, like you you run into that guy that you uh, wish you had a second chance with, but let's just be real. Or uh, you know, as a uh a former mother-in-law would say a shudder. Oh, yeah, but let's be real. It ain't happening for a lot of women. There's a lot of women suffering. A lot of women wish they had held on to that guy. Had a good man, just don't want to deal with him. You got to think about that, ladies. You got to think about that. When you get him, that might be your chance right there. Like, and you know, ladies, come on, y'all, y'all know. I talk to a lot of ladies. They said they'll meet a guy and they know he's good, but, you know, still want to have that fun. Think he going to wait around. And ladies, get off that fantasy. Like I said, if that guy's good, he could have been a player or something, but he's just attractive, somebody else is going to be smarter about it and grab him. Then what? And I know for y'all, just the reality, good for y'all ultimately means compatible. And that's hard to find. That is hard to find. I've talked to the men about that, too. That's hard to find. You find that truly compatible man, you, you know, it's going to be a peaceful relationship. Shh. You better grab on to that guy. You better grab on to You might not get that chance again. Seriously. Because let's be real. A lot of women saying, oh, yeah, I'll meet him. You got your girlfriend telling you, hey, there's something better out there. How many women actually meet that something better? You know, it's kind of bad. I can only think of one woman right now. One woman right now who found something better. You know, she wasn't feeling, the, um, she was actually married, wasn't feeling the guy, and, you know, divorced him and found somebody better who was more right for. One time, seriously, ladies, seriously, I talked to a lot of ladies. I can't think of any other situation where the woman ultimately found something better. Not one. Not one. Well, not one other than the one I mentioned. I put it like that. I can't think of any other situation. And talk to a lot of ladies. Talk to a lot of ladies. Don't let that guy go. You know, you find that good man. You know what? At the very least, you need to pursue a relationship. This ain't saying you got to marry him or anything. At least see where it goes. And, all you know, it might turn out he might not be the right one. But, shoot, you ain't going to know that till you try to find out. You know? Don't be going in hoping and stuff. Because, seriously, I see too many ladies, too many attractive ladies having some trouble, and you can't blame it on a man. Seriously, some women might try to say, well, the men are this or that, but you had that good guy. And y'all know y'all say that privately. Y'all know y'all say that privately. I've had scores tell me that privately. So y'all know, all right? So anyway, I want y'all to really think about it. You get that good man, hold on to him, all right? Anyway, ladies, y'all have a good weekend. Peace and blessings.